Hello, and welcome to what is probably one of the most famous buildings in the entire city of Hamburg, the Schiele Haus. This Contour House building dates back to the 1920s and is pretty much one of the best examples for brick expressionism that you can find out there. What we are going to do in this video is to take a look at what it used to look like, although there are no pictures of that, unfortunately, but at least I can tell you something about the history of this place and then we compare it to what it looks nowadays. Hamburg is quite famous for its paternosters and you often had a setup like this. There used to be a paternoster, which was open to the public. There used to be a passenger elevator, which back at these days was only open for higher ranks working in the building. And for that reason, it was locked off and you needed a key if you wanted to operate it. And there often also was a freight elevator, which was also locked off. And this is also how it used to look in the Schiele House. However, it used to look like that and it does no longer look like it anymore. Because, let's face it, if there is a building that really deserved its patterns test to be retained, it's this one, the Schiele House. But to my utter disappointment, this is no longer the case and all of the three patterns have been completely replaced back in the 1990s. At the time this video has been created, the English Wikipedia still says that there are patterns test in the Schiele House, but this is no longer the case, so you are pretty much given a false information if you read this article. Schiele House has got four entrances labelled A, B, C and D. Yes, there is also an entrance D that many people just don't know about. But let's first start with entrance A. And this is what it looks like behind this entrance. You have got a classic 1920s fashioned lobby with a single elevator to the left and a set of two different sized elevators to the right. Now this already cries for further explanation. If you take a look at the left elevator, you can already judge by the door width that there must have been something different in there. And yes, it used to be the place where the original paternoster was before it has been replaced in the 90s. On the right, there originally was just one elevator visible, which was the passenger elevator that was locked off. I don't know if it has already been replaced in the 70s, but certainly it has been replaced again. And the elevator to the very right used to be the freight elevator, which has now pretty much been converted into a passenger elevator. The old passenger and old freight elevator, which have been replaced, now run as a set. But their different cab and door sizes still tell off something about their origin, which I think is quite interesting. Let's check out these elevators and take a note that the freight elevator also goes down to the basement.
And now let's skip entrance B as it looks quite similar to entrance A, including the way how the elevators are arranged. Instead, we are going to entrance C, which looks notably different. In my opinion, this is the most amazing staircases of all of the three staircases here, as the original Paternoster, now an oversized elevator, has been placed right opposite the staircase, which in my opinion puts it much more into the center of the scene. The elevators, however, they are quite hidden in some rooms at the side of the staircases. I don't know which elevator used to be which in the past, but I think that the right elevator used to be the passenger one that used to be locked off and the left elevator used to be the freight elevator. I only have got one idea why this is the case because the left elevator also goes down to the basement which the right elevator doesn't so it looks like this was the original freight elevator but I do not really know that. Keep that in mind. And now, before we finally uncover the mysteries of Staircase D, we first go into Staircase B and check out what we can find there. But this is not really so much different from Staircase A. The only thing that has been changed is the position of the elevators when you enter the staircase. You will find the former Paternoster to the right, now a normal oversized passenger elevator, and the former old passenger and freight elevator to the left. But that's pretty much it. The entire rest appears to be really much similar.
Okay, now this is what most of the people know about the staircases and the elevators at the Sheila house, but we are not done yet, as there's one thing left to uncover, and these are the mysteries of Staircase D. That one single staircase that pretty much no one knows anything about, and it is situated behind this completely unmarked door. This door already existed back in the time the building has been created, and so did the staircase and the elevator. Or sadly, the elevator has been replaced in the 1970s, and then has been replaced again in the 2010s. Oh dear. This elevator does no longer stop at all floors. Instead, it skips some of the floors, which the previous elevator still used to stop at. There never used to be a paternoster in this staircase, as it was never meant to be open to the public. 